We all know and love the prayer that Our Lady taught us at Fatima, the Fatima prayer, the O oh My Jesus prayer. But did you know that the final petition in the Fatima prayer is about the holy souls in purgatory? That's what my research has led me to discover the last few weeks. It all started when I was reading a really important book about the apparitions of Our Lady at Fatima. It's by an author called Joaquin Maria Alonso. He was the priest who was in charge of writing up or compiling a huge analysis of the message and the events at Fatima. And I think he produced a 12 volume set of books on the apparitions of Our Lady at Fatima. And for one reason or another, they were never published. But there is a book that includes a collection of various conferences that he gave on the message of Fatima. It's entitled Doctrine and Spirituality of the Message of Fatima. And on page number 154, he discusses the ejaculatory prayer of the Rosary. O oh my Jesus, forgive us, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. That's the way that we normally hear the prayer, the way we normally recite it. But actually, he gives a different translation. He says that really the prayer should be understood as the following. O oh my Jesus, forgive us, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls from purgatory to heaven, especially the most abandoned. That's how he translates the prayer. And he says he translates that prayer in that way for good reason. He says, I have given this version of the celebrated ejaculatory prayer because after having done many critical studies upon it, I am convinced that the last part refers to the souls in purgatory. And we're not talking about an author, a scholar who knows very little about Our Lady's message at Fatima. He was the priest charged in producing this 12 volume full analysis of the message of Our Lady at Fatima. And he was convinced that that final part of the Fatima prayer was about the holy souls in purgatory. And why is that? Well, it all goes back to the Portuguese version of the prayer. In English, we just have lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. But actually, in Portuguese, we, it doesn't say lead all souls to heaven. Our Lady said, the best English way of translating it seems to be lead all the little souls to heaven, especially those most in need. And in those days, it was a very common practice in Portuguese piety to refer to the holy souls in purgatory as the little souls. I think probably especially with children trying to encourage them to pray for the poor souls in purgatory. Apparently, the best way to get this across would be, for example, if in English, if in English, Our Lady had appeared and said, say the following prayer. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead the poor souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Maybe we would understand the poor souls. That refers to those in purgatory. Or let's say she said, lead the poor suffering souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. We would know oh, she's talking about the souls in purgatory. And in fact, that's how it was understood in the early days of the message of Fatima, certainly in Portugal. And that's why this learned author brings the reality back to our attention. There is, however, more to this story. And that's because in the early days, because it was so well known that the prayer was to do with the souls in purgatory, there arose a formula in English that was the following. Oh my Jesus, forgive us, save us from the fire of hell, relieve the souls in purgatory, especially the most abandoned. And that was a version of the Fatima prayer that you can find in some very old prayer books. And what's interesting is in the interview that another really important author on the message of Fatima, William Thomas Walsh, an interview that he does with Sister Lucia, he actually asks her, he, he reads that prayer to her, the one I've just said, oh my Jesus, forgive us, save us from the fire of hell, relieve the souls in purgatory, especially the most abandoned, and says to her, is that the correct translation of the prayer that you were taught? And she actually replies, no, it is not the correct one in English, 
is, O my Jesus, pardon us and save us from the fire of hell, draw all souls to heaven, especially those in most need. But you see, I think that the confusion is this. Sister Lucy, obviously there's no mention of purgatory in the original version, but it's implied by the use of the word little souls. And that was well understood in the early years of Our Lady of Fatima. And so, but when Sister Lucy is quite broadly presented with this version of the prayer that has made it really literal and obvious that it's, a, that it's about purgatory and delivering souls from purgatory, using the word purgatory, she says, wait a minute, stop. It doesn't mention, it isn't saying the word purgatory, lead all souls to heaven. And I dare say, I dare say that, that if we saw the original Portuguese um, of, of William uh, Thomas Walsh's book, well, it wasn't, it was, it was in English. But if, if he gave us the transcript in Portuguese of what Sister Lucy had written back to him, because she didn't write English, she didn't speak English, then I bet it would have used the original word Little souls, as I've shown on the screen in the Portuguese version, the little souls, which implies they are the souls in purgatory. And that's why the learned author, Joaquin Maria Alonso, Father Joaquin Maria Alonso, that's why he emphasized so strongly that this prayer, this final part of the prayer, is about the holy souls in purgatory. So overall, what do we have in the Fatima prayer. We have a prayer with a number of parts. The first one is looking up to our blessed Lord. Oh my Jesus. It's a personal prayer. Forgive us our sins. Again, referring to our humanity as a whole and particularly those who are praying the rosary of you at that moment. Then save us from the fires of hell. That's that's a prayer emphasizing one of the key aspects of the Fatima message, the reality of hell. Save us from the fires of hell. Save those who are dear to me from the fires of hell. Save all those who I'm praying for, asking God to bestow them grace, to bestow them mercy. Then we get to the final part. Lead all the little souls, or lead all the holy souls in purgatory into heaven, especially those who are most in need. It's referring to the poor suffering souls in purgatory who are perhaps in the deepest, darkest recesses of purgatory and have been suffering there a long time. How many of us have lost touch with the fact that purgatory is a place of suffering and that we should want to help those souls out of purgatory to be delivered from the suffering that they're going through. And back in the in the nine in the early part of the 20th century, this was something that people were much more aware of. They were much more devoted to the poor suffering souls in purgatory. And so, and rightly so, Our Lady instructed and encouraged the children in this devotion by reminding them to pray for these poor suffering souls in purgatory, to lead them into heaven, especially the ones who are most abandoned. So that's how we are to understand the Fatima prayer. I don't think, I mean, like Sister Lucy, we probably can't reinvent the prayer and add the word purgatory in there. But as you pray the prayer from now on, remember that that final part of the prayer primarily, originally referred to the poor suffering souls in purgatory. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen.